Okay, now we're going to show how to set up the Xtreme's IPTV service on Android using the Set-Top Box emulator. Um, so, and this can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. There's a free version with ads. There's also a paid version for a few dollars that um, removes the ads. So we're going to start this up. Now, when you first start it up, um, and, and this is certainly a lot easier to use if you have a mouse or a keyboard, um, or both actually, for your Android box. I'm running this um, under Amy, the Andy emulator right now just because it's easier to make the um, screen capture of this. <coughs> so up in the top, though, um, you'll see three little dots. And when we click here, this will come or bring up a menu for us, and we can come over to Settings. Yeah, and it's a bit slow because I'm doing an emulator on my PC and recording it um, on your Android box. It should be a lot faster. So we're going to come down to Profiles. Usually there's always a demo profile in here, which is fine. We can just keep this one and modify it. So I'm going to click here. Under Profile Name, we can change it if you want. Um, you can have more than one profile on these devices. So we'll just change this to Xtremes. Now we're going to come down um, for portal settings. I'm going to click here. And our portal URL, this is again, um, if you've, I'm um, depending on what service you've um, subscribed to. In this case, um, we're setting up the gold. So I'm going to use the gold one here. Um, if you'd use the premium, and this is the um, URL that we'd use for the premium. Now for set-top box model, um, because this is an emulator, it emulates all the different mag boxes. Um, I found the 250 to work fine. Um, I don't think you really need to try any of the different ones. Um, some of these have different features. Um, they try and emulate the, um, the um, recording capability, etc. But because this is an emulator, it doesn't really work fully. So I'm just select 250 seems to be the best box that um, emulates the best. Um, screen resolution, I found 1280 by um, 720 seems to work good on most Android boxes because um, this is an emulator, does require a bit of power. So um, on that one, um, or the guide fits nicely, everything um, works good, doesn't seem to be too laggy. So we can leave that the same. Now MAC address, this is once you've made a donation, you'll get a MAC address and this is where we will put that information in. You can see I already have it in here, but um, normally you would just erase it. You would put in the MAC address that you were given. Again, this is where having a keyboard is nice on um, for Android rather than trying to do this using your remote over and over. And that's all we really need to configure for the profile here. Um, mainly just our portal settings, whether it's the gold or the premium um, one, and our MAC address. When we come back, our main screen here, again, um, and it's uh, very similar to Kodi. Then under TV, we have different sort of grouping and categories here of all the different um, channels. So sometimes um, if you just want to find a certain group, if you just want to see only those channels, in this case, I'm just going to pick the English. And we can see here, here's our list. Again, because I'm using an emulator, on top of an Android emulator on my PC, it's a little bit slow and jittery, so don't pay attention to the stream normally. If you're doing this straight on your Android box, it's a nice clean stream coming in. <coughs> and I'm you simply pick your channels on the side though. And your channel loads up fine. And if you come back on here, also now to, um, if you're using the set-top box emulator, there's also the pay-per-view movie section here. Um, there's some um, TV shows, there's video on demand. So if we come over here, say to the pay-per-view movies, and we'll just come down again, just for English for a quick minute. And you can see, um, here's a whole bunch of different pay-per-view things. We can simply click on, and that will start playing as well for us.
Again, don't mind the video, it's because I'm using the PC emulator for this. Sometimes the video goes and then trying to capture it. There we go, now it kicked in fine. So again, if you're doing this on your Android box, um, it would be a lot smoother. It's, I'm simply just the way that I'm recording it right now. Again, can always come back out, come back out again, back to our thing, or back to our main screen. There would be our live TV.